Hi, my name is Joe Miller, and since completing my master's at Oxford in 2020, I've helped hundreds of students secure positions at the best universities in the UK for master's programmes. In this video, we're going to be talking about the highly competitive Masters of Philosophy in Finance course at Cambridge. It's very important this is different to the Masters in Finance course at Cambridge, which is for students with at least two years of experience. The MPhil Finance at Cambridge has a success rate of around 10%, but don't let that fool you. It is a course that is academically rigorous and attracts the most exceptional candidates from around the world. In this video, I'm going to give you five quick tips on how you can master your application for the MPhil in finance at Cambridge. My first tip is look out for the deadlines. If you're applying to Cambridge along with other business school type courses like LBS, LSE, UCL, Imperial and so on, note that the Cambridge deadline is early. The official deadline is the end of January but Cambridge asks you to get your application in before the funding deadline, which is usually early December before the Christmas break. To maximise your chances, you should do exactly this. My second tip is know your strengths and understand that this is a very academic course. This is not a vocational programme wired towards helping people launch careers in finance. They ask for a first class degree, which is the equivalent to a 3.7 GPA if you're from North America. As a result, it is absolutely important that you understand this course is going to be about research, it's going to be academic, you're going to be learning financial theories far more than their application. It is therefore a very different course to its equivalents at places like London Business School, Imperial or the UCL School of Management. My third tip is that you need to understand the unique offering on this course. It is primarily taught by the Judge Business School, but it's taught in collaboration with both the Faculty of Mathematics and the Faculty of Economics. Mention this in your application. Look at the modules, the electives, the faculty, the research groups, and interweave this with your own research interests. It will really make you stand out. My fourth tip is that similar to the courses at LSE, Cambridge's finance courses are renowned for being very, very quantitative. It is therefore very important that you show your quantitative skills, both on the short essay answers that you're asked to write and on your CV. There is also a quantitative statement that you can include on your application where you should list the quantitative modules you studied at undergraduate level and also the books that you've read with those. Again, this is very important and is weighted considerably more than at other universities. The fifth and final tip that I can give you today is that this course is research driven. It is therefore really important that you tell them what your research proposal is, whether you take up their offer of writing your own research proposal on the PhD path, or even if you just integrate it into other aspects of the application. The professors who read this application want to see research. It's really important that you also note, you can either choose to do nine taught modules on this course, or six taught modules with a 12,000 word dissertation. My advice to most candidates is that if you've done research in your undergraduate degree, say that you're going to do the 12,000 word dissertation. Tell them what you propose doing for that 12,000 word dissertation. Link it to what you've done in the past. This is a far easier way of creating a unique identity that is rooted in the academic interests of this course. Thank you for listening to this video. I hope you found these five quick tips useful. We have many more for you. And if you're interested in working with me or any of my colleagues at the profs, please get in touch via the description box below. If you've enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe. Above all else, good luck with your applications.